Hello and welcome back to my tech farm, I'm Igor and in this video I want to compare the CNC machine versus uh, Meta CD printed parts. A few months ago I did a video where I presented PCBWay uh, Meta CD printing services and there I had three different materials, aluminum, stainless steel and uh, even tool steel and it was very pleasant surprise uh, how strong they are uh, horizontally vertically printed objects has a similar strength and uh, actually this uh, woke up uh, my curiosity <laughs> also several viewers also give this comment to me that uh, it would be good to compare them uh, with the CNC machine parts so I contacted PCB Way and asked them if they want this kind of video and they agreed this is not a sponsored video uh, I get these test objects for free but I'm not paid anything about this only I got a limited budget, so from that I have to uh, place the order and that's why we have only two object types per material and per manufacturing type and uh, later they decided to send me from CD printed parts uh, three per each, not one probably the printing time is the same if they fit on the bed because their limit is uh, the Z coordinate actually in this case in both cases the ordering process is very similar, only uh, for CNC machine parts it requires the step file, uh, we cannot use the STL, for CD printed parts we can use STL but also step file too. But uh, it is good that when we upload the uh, files uh, we will get some automatic estimated price, uh, later it will be reviewed, that price can be a little bit modified, usually down in my case, but uh, we can see the price before we place the final order. Now let's see what's in the box. And this was the content of the box, so I have here some uh, transparent uh, logo of PCB, also stickers, a pen, and this is uh, papers for taking some notes, and uh, we have our stickers too. And then sample PCBs, I already got several times this, <laughs> I'm using them to practice my soldering skills. And then of course the main part. So these are 3D printed from aluminum and from stainless steel and these are CNC machines. As you can see from this I have one per each and here I have three pieces per each. So I have uh, these hooks, with this I can test some uh, tensile and uh, bending stress here and I will see uh, on what load they will break. But uh, with these test objects I will put some load here, I will fix this part and uh, I want to measure some kind of uh, bending in millimeters, so deformation without breaking. And I also got the distance objects, uh, they are CD printed, but actually I need only one. Um, this is the holder for one of my test specimens for the torque test. At least on this I can do some uh, machining work because I have to cut the thread on this hole. I'm not sure if these gifts are included in every or only in my package. I will ask them and you can see it on the screen now. Okay, let's start with comparison and now first a uh, few obvious things. So as you can see, the quality of the CNC machine parts is always much better. So this is CNC machine and this is CD printed and as you can see this is very shiny and uh, here I can actually feel that uh, inaccuracy in the surface quality. Here is another comparison from previous video. So accuracy of this part is basically one hundredth of millimeter. Uh, this is a twist drill for experimenting only but uh, actually it works, only if I need a really accuracy from this twist drill I have to uh, work out the grind the, the surfaces to get a smoother quality of the holes. This will be a holder for my new types of the test objects. The cross section is the same, only here I don't have the hole or any weakness in the cross section. CD printing has also advantage uh, against the CNC machining, for example, we cannot do anything with CNC machining, for example, we, we couldn't do uh, a benchy, for example, because uh, we couldn't machine from inside, at least we couldn't do it from one part. Or for example, this gear bearing, uh, this cannot even be assembled, so to separately CNC machine these parts and put them together, because uh, this has to be printed as it is now, all in one piece. Now let's check the dimensional accuracy. Uh, all dimensions I will check, they are rounded millimeters. 4.01 hmm, The thickness is a little bit bigger, it should be 3 millimeters. 
Is that the case with aluminum part? No, this is correct. 4.01. Uh, I think that this one was measured 16.03. And now let's check the C depleted pass. This is from steel. 4.08. Thickness 3.19. 16.07. So as you can see, the accuracy is uh, better in case of the CNC. I mean, that's nothing new. Let's check the aluminum C depleted parts. 4.14. This is also bigger a little bit. 3.13 16 uh, I will check the main dimension on this part here ah, 300 hmm, 3.12 a little bit bigger this should be 3 by 3 let's check the aluminum part correct Three point zero five, mm, close. And see the printed parts. This is from aluminum. Oh, much bigger. Three point sixty three. Three point one. This is from stainless steel. Three point oh six. Three point fourteen. So as you can see, uh, let's say approximately 0.1 millimeter is the accuracy of the printing part or maybe 0.2. But in case of the CNC machining, and in most cases it is 0.01 or 0.02 millimeters. Only one dimension I had a little bit thicker and that's this should be 3 millimeters, but it is a little bit bigger. And on this part I want to check a few dimensions. Uh, the most important is this, this should be 10 millimeters in plus. I think I designed 10.2 millimeters and it is very close. And again 10.16, so 10 by 10 millimeter head will go into this hole. Now let's measure the weight. Now uh, on my jewelry scale it is out of the range of the weight of these objects, so I have to use this kitchen scale. The accuracy is very low, so only one gram, so that's why I will measure all test subjects at once and I know their uh, theoretic volume and from this I will calculate the theoretic density. This is CNC machine steel parts. 24 grams. CNC machine aluminum parts, 80 grams. Stainless steel CD printed parts, very close, 23 grams. And CD printed aluminum parts, 80 grams. Basically, well, we could say that there is no difference between CNC machine and CD printed parts. To have some imagination how strong are these metals, I printed the same objects from the strongest filament I have at home. I checked that summary Excel table to see which material performs the best on the bending test. You know, so needs bigger load for 2mm deformation. And my Patreon supporters have access to this table so they can check themselves. And the mass of this object is 3.3 grams. It's time to start the strength test and uh, I will just pull this uh, hook until it doesn't break or deform. Probably the stainless steel will deform around this point. About the aluminum, I'm not sure, maybe it will break, but uh, we will see soon. I start with CNC machined aluminum. CD printed aluminum. CNC machine steel CD printed steel This is aluminum, this is stainless steel and uh, I don't know the numbers yet but one thing is very obvious that the CD printed parts are more brittle 
As you can see, the CNC machine part, they just started with the bending around this point until they didn't slip from the hook. But uh, I noticed that uh, CD printed parts, they start with the bending a little bit, but at some point they just snap in two pieces. And just for fun, let's see how CD printed plastic perform in this test. Uh, hardly measurable. Now basically with this test I could measure only the brake load, but uh, now I want to see some kind of deformation, the bending. I have these test objects, they will be holded on this part here. Uh, here you can see the dimensions for the moment. And on the other side I will place uh, some load. I will try to use the same load in all four materials. Uh, I will see maybe with aluminum I have to use a smaller one. And with dial indicator I want to measure the deformation. This magnet is only support from the back side. It's a limiter for this test object and for the holder from the top. And I'm locking this position. Inserting the M4 bolt. Setting up the dial indicator and placing 2.5 kg load and measuring the deformation. So these are CD printed aluminum test objects. Very similar values I got here. And then moving to the CNC machined aluminum. And again the result is very similar to the CD printed versions. Then moving to CD printed steel. Again the result is very similar, approximately half millimeter of deformation here. And of course it was stronger than aluminum parts. And then this is CNC machined steel. And this was quite obvious stronger than CD printed versions. And of course, let's don't forget our FDM CD printed plastic. Here I use only 1.25 kg, so not 2.5. And the deformation was more than 7 mm. I was even waiting approximately half minutes until it stabilized. And this is speed up footage. But it's time to analyze the results. Uh, this Excel table is downloadable from mytechfun.com website. Let's start with the hook test. Well, here the CNC machine parts were stronger compared to the 3D printed versions. Uh, these were weaker approximately 25%. And of course the FDM plastic is here only just for small reference. Then with this bending test. Well, uh, I couldn't notice any significant difference between aluminum parts. But the steel CNC machine part was uh, stronger compared to the CD printed part, less bending with head. So here basically smaller values are better. Here we can see the difference. And now about the prices. Well here I'm a little bit confused because I can see very similar, uh, actually equal prices here for different objects. Uh, so I can now compare only the prices which I could see when I placed the order. And uh, these were uh, one per each. Later they decided to give me a gift. So uh, basically in invoice the price for three pieces is equal like for one piece. But basically the original order was this. And if I uh, compare these two, basically it looks like that CD printed parts are more expensive compared to the CNC. But of course this may vary at a lot, depend on the object and the shape and Z hike and similar. Best if you place the order and wait for the estimated prices by the reviewer. I'm quite sure that in the future CD printed parts will always be cheaper than CNC machine because here basically we don't have that waste material like with the CNC machining. And final conclusions. Well, uh, these services are not cheap, but it is good to know the possibilities if you need some stronger parts and uh, you cannot print it with your FDM printer. In that case, you can place an order. And if the objects can be equally machined with the CNC or CD printed, metal CD printed, well, in that case, uh, currently I would recommend CNC machine part, of course, because it is cheaper, a uh, little bit stronger and uh, much better accuracy it has and better surface quality. I'm quite sure that in future CD printed part uh, will be cheaper, must be cheaper. I mean here we don't have uh, waste materials uh, unlike with the CNC machine part. But currently you saw in this order which I placed here, the CD printed parts were expensive. But uh, we will see in the future, so always check the prices before you place an order. And it is good that you can uh, submit your objects and wait for the estimated price before you place the final order. Well, I hope you learned something new. I did definitely. Thank you for watching and happy designing and ordering.